Today we're at Norris Elementary School, home of the Squires, and we're here to... Do All right, today we're at Norris Elementary School. We've got some sixth grade students. You guys ready to go? Do you have any idea what you're going to do? Mm -hmm. Math. You're going to do some math. Perfect. That's all you need to know right now. Okay. So you have a couple of pieces of paper. One is a plain piece of paper. We're going to start with the graph paper first. All right, so go ahead and grab your pencils. And what I'd like you to do is just outline a square. And it doesn't matter where it is. Just outline a square. Now, what can you tell me about squares right now? What do we know about squares? They have four sides. They have four sides. They're all four equal. Points. They're all equal. They all have right angles. They all have right angles. Those are key things to remember about squares. Okay? What I'd like you to do is close, but not touching. Outline another square. Now, are they the same or different? The they're the same, right? It's not turquoise, right? They're the same, right? You're like, hey, old man, they're the same. What are you talking about? Have you ever heard of the word congruent? Yes. Do yes. you have any idea what that means, or you've just heard it? Equal. They're equal, right? If two shapes are congruent, they're the same shape and the same size. Are these congruent? Yes. Yes, yes they're the same shape and size. Now watch, if I do this, I have now made another square, haven't I? Mm -hmm. But is that congruent? No. 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 Similar, but it's not congruent. It has to be the same shape, which it is, but same size also. Okay? What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to draw three squares connected like this. Okay? And you can put the division lines between them so you can see that they're three separate squares. Okay? So we're not going to worry about the shape being congruent right now, okay? Is there any other way I could put three squares together that are touching? They have to be touching somehow. Is there another way we could draw that where the three of them are touching? They don't all have to touch each other, see, because this one doesn't touch that one, right? Is there a way you can draw th three squares again different than that where they're all touching? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and try. Okay, so some of you did, instead of a horizontal, you did a vertical, which is fine. And then some of you did where you made kind of an L shape, right? You went like this, right? Because that's three again, isn't it? Okay. But they're not in the same as that. Okay. Those are tetrominoes. Okay. Think about tet, T-E-T, -E -T, right? Three. All right. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to try four. What I want you to do is I want you to draw four. The only thing with this, I drew mine, the way some of you are looking at it, vertically. Okay? If I just go like this and draw four like that, horizontally, that doesn't count as a different way. All right? You see how this was a different way? than that with the three. Mm -hmm. I want you to take the four and see how many different ways you can put four of these squares together. There's actually five ways to do it, so see if you can find a couple of them, all right? So you want to share yours? So go ahead. And what was your name again? Christopher. Christopher. So if you were missing one, go ahead and take a look at Christopher's paper. So there are the five different ways, because it looks like you guys all came up with the same four. And then there's one where you have two squares on top, and then the bottom two are just shifted over a little bit. And that's the fifth way right there. 
and we'll do a little bit more work with squares and the pentominoes coming up with the students at Norris Elementary.